Madrid? No. Thank you for joining us this evening for the 6th Annual Prado Benefit Concert. We're so excited to have you all here tonight. As many of you know, this is one of the, one of the favorite days that our students have all year, uh, getting to share music with each other and to, to encourage each other in the great work that they do here in our community and to raise money for a great cause. So thank you for being out here to support that. I'm going to invite the Penfield uh, crowd to come onto the stage now and uh, get ready for their, uh, for their song. Um, so for those of you who don't know, we are here supporting the Prado Community Centers in Bogota, Colombia. Uh, the, the, you're going to hear a lot more about them uh, later in the evening, um, but the, uh, the thing you need to know is that they need our help. Um, they have school to go to, but the kids are also uh, working every day as garbage collectors. They go through their communities collecting anything that they can salvage any sort of value from, and then they sell it to make money for their families. And then they go to school. So uh, the, the, the funds that we raise here tonight are all going to be uh, directly to the, the community centers down there. We've had many sponsors, as you've seen up on the board tonight um, and in your program, that have uh, donated money that will cover the costs of this, uh, this concert tonight so that all of the money that we collect from the ticket sales or from the jewelry or water sales can go directly to the, uh, to the community centers. So thank you for joining us tonight for this presentation of live music from real people to real people and supporting this great cause uh, uh, that, we, uh, that, we, that we love to support every year. We've got Steve Bowen and the Penfield High School Corral. And um, take it away.
Uh, we're going to get the, the, the projector screen back down here in a minute because uh, we're going to have a video uh, describing the, uh, the Prado Community Centers and all of the great work that they're doing. Um, but as the choir leaves the stage, um, I wanted to share with you some of the thoughts about the song you just heard. Connor, one of their singers, told me that he really enjoys the story behind the song where the composer of the song, Jason Robert Brown, was inspired by stories from children in, uh, in a children's hospital and one of them, uh, a little girl, who, who told him that she didn't want to be invisible. So uh, it's a really meaningful song for the kids. Uh, I'm going to introduce to you now uh, a woman who has been doing so much great work in this community. Uh, Sarah Cleland uh, and her husband Jason uh, started this, this mission, this, this charity, uh, several years ago with the, uh, the Prado Community Centers in Bogota. And she's going to come out and uh, tell us all about the, uh, the kids who live there and the people that we're helping. So, Sarah Cleland. Um, we're so glad that you're here tonight. We're glad that you're supporting these kids and this concert and the kids in Columbia at the Prado Community Center. Um, this is the sixth year of us doing this um, concert uh, with, these, with these schools and these directors and coming together to raise funds for the kids that live in Bogota, Colombia. So Prado is a small community. It's hard to see this, but um, in the city, the capital city of Bogota, many of the families there are relying on recycling in order to make a living. And that means that they collect garbage. They pick through garbage to find items that can be turned into recycling centers for money. Uh, they don't make a lot of money and many cannot afford the cost of school for their children. They also work very long hours, sometimes 16 to 20 hour days and their children are either at home uh, without their parents or they're out helping them work. So the Prado Community Center, the idea is that it provides a safe place for kids to be when they're not in school. Uh, there's tutoring, food, activities that teach English, art, music, and more. So Columbia schools are free to attend. However, families are required to supply uniforms and supplies. Uh, there's no assistance available if you can't afford these things. Um, and if you don't have them, you're actually kicked out of school, you're removed from school. So there are kids that drop out simply for not having the supplies that they need to have. Um, so, and the, and the cost is um, well beyond what a lot of the families that we work with are able to afford. So this is a girl with one of her uniforms. Um, so the jewelry on sale tonight was made by the kids in the community center and all of the funds um, go back to them for buying uniforms, buying school supplies for them. So this concert began six years ago, and at that time there was one classroom of kids at the community center and about 20 kids. Uh, there are now three locations and over 90 kids are involved. And that is thanks in large part to the community of students and directors that are here tonight um, that give their time, that give their talents to help others. Um, parents, you should be incredibly proud of your kids. Um, the day that we spend together is amazing. They. They're just awesome kids. There's just a handful of adults in the room, and you barely even meet us here. They're, they're leading things, and they're doing such a great job. Uh, we're honored to partner with all of you as we work to give hope to these vulnerable children. And we're also proud that 100% of the funds raised tonight from both ticket sales and jewelry sales will go directly to Columbia to support these programs. If you want to learn more about each location and see the kids that are involved, you can go to our website, which is listed on the back of your program. Um, and there's actually a video of each of the community center sites so you can see the kids and see a little bit of how they live. The newest location is called Capesia, and this is pictures of Capesia. Um, the location relies on a truck to make a water delivery to them because they don't have running water coming through in the typical way. Um, they don't have enough water though. So we're working tonight and in this year, our goal is to make sure that there's enough uh, water for the kids and the staff at Capesia to be able to clean, do dishes, drink, uh, wash hands, and we are hoping to get your help from for that tonight. So when we were, my husband and I were in Capesia in August, and that's when we decided this site needed to be added in, uh, we saw kids with basically a large cereal bowl. For, uh, there was a classroom of 40 students, and the, the large cereal bowl of water was sitting in their bathroom sink, and that's what all of the kids used to wash, wash their hands um, throughout the whole day. 
And then at the end of the day, they took that exact same bowl of water and washed all of the kids' dishes with it at the end of the day. And so um, it was it was incredible to see that. And so we are um, selling water bottles tonight. It's more of a donation. The water bottles are $10. They're just a regular water bottle. But for every two water bottles sold, it will make sure that the kids have plenty of water for one week. So the goal is uh, to sell those water bottles. They're going to be on sale um, in several locations tonight. One is in the back as you leave. It'll, they'll be on the hall. And also both jewelry tables are going to have um, water bottles there as well. Also, you can text water to that number, which is also on the back of your program. And you will, it's not an automatic gift. It sends you a link um, that shows you how you can give a $10 donation from your phone securely and right there while you're sitting at the concert. Um, so thank you so much for coming tonight. The kids in Columbia are uh, really grateful. And one of the kids drew this picture for all of you, which I thought was adorable. So uh, it says thank you for everything at the top. And we're going to show you a quick video of, um, of the kids in Columbia and what's going on there. for all of your hard work putting this uh, this program together. It's a great cause and a great day for all of us. Uh, next up, we have the Harper Creek High School treble choir singing a song called Dance on My Heart. Maddie told me that this song has a lot of meaning for her and for, her and for the rest of the singers. Uh, she says that it's a beautiful song and the dynamics are really cool and allows for some great expression of the, the different emotions that happen in this song. Um, let's also thank Harper Creek High School for hosting this wonderful event. Thank you to Eric and the Thank you. And enjoy Dance on My Heart.
Next up, we have the Lakeview High School Cantabile. Uh, they will sing a song called I Will Be a Child of Peace. Uh, this one uh, is a very pretty song according to, oh, I'm sorry, Harbor Creek Jazz Choir, Jazz and Pop Choir. <laughs> sorry, guys. They rehearsed this switch over and everything, and here I go ruining it. Okay, I'm sorry. Next up, we have Harbor Creek High School's Jazz Pop Choir. They will be singing a song called Ding a Ding a Ding. Um, this group uh, is the, uh, the fourth choir that has been added to Harper Creek's uh, choir schedule. They are an auditioned group and they rehearse every day uh, for a 40 minute class. Um, they've been working really hard on this song and they are kind of a special guest. Um, all the choirs get to link with our, uh, with our guest conductor, uh, Joel Moore. Um, so, so they get to sing their pieces for him and get some feedback. Um, but we have a couple of guest choirs, including the Jazz Pop Choir and then uh, Lakeview's Ace Choir, that are just uh, just performing for the sake of performing for us tonight. So let's uh, thank the Harper Creek High School Jazz Pop Choir and enjoy Ding a Ding a Ding. She said it comes together really well uh, when everybody puts in their efforts. So I guess it was worth all of that hard work for them. Um, some of the sponsors that, uh, that have uh, pledged for tonight uh, include Heritage Chevrolet, uh, Carol McKenzie, Attorney at Law, State Farm Insurance, Farley Estes and Dowell, Battle Creek Tile and Mosaic, and Starkissi Mobile Studio, and Pizza Sam's. Um, now, if you, uh, if you enjoy pizza and, uh, and have frequented Pizza Sam's before, uh, the owner is here tonight and he wanted to share with you guys that he would, if you bring your concert ticket from tonight, uh, from now until the end of November, he'll give you a dollar off on a pizza. So, so thanks to Pizza Sam's and to all of our workers. So, Lakeview High School comes out today.
of Sarah gets to pull double duties tonight, organizing the whole event and then playing for, for several choirs. Thank you to Sarah Cleland and to Melissa Sales, our accompanist for the night. Let's give them a round of applause. Next up, we've got Harper Creek Honors Choir. They'll be singing uh, a, an arrangement of Amazing Grace. Now, you'll probably recognize the words to this one, but this is a very different tune, um, a very nice one. Hannah really likes the blend, the balance, and the beauty in this song. She thinks it's a really important message and very meaningful, and she loves working with each other, with all, with all of the other singers, and working with the song to create something beautiful. So this is a special piece for these kids. Um, if you want to see uh, some more of the Harper Creek Singers, they're going to have their holiday concert on uh, Thursday, December 12th at 7 p.m. Uh, then they're also going to be, uh, a little earlier than that, they're going to be singing uh, at Meyer on Beckley Road. They're going to be singing on Black Friday, so which you accompany all of your holiday shopping needs at 4 p.m. at Meyer. Uh, the kids will be right there in the thick of it, giving you some holiday cheer. So let's welcome the Harper Creek Honors Choir.
is going to be Alexis Stark singing Stars in the Moon by Jason Robert Brown. and the clashing chords 
Uh, he said it makes a uniform power. I really liked uh, how he put that. Um, I don't know if the if the kids learned this story about this song, but I got to sing this one um, in a choir when I was at college, and we heard the the background story of this song is that Eric Whitaker had originally wrote it to a different poem. Um, for those of you who are familiar with the poem uh, "Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening" by Robert Frost. Um, Eric Whitaker had set that poem to, to this music, but he uh, falsely assumed that the Robert Frost Foundation would let him use the poem. When he finally asked, they said no. So he had to figure out how to uh, get this song to be published, so he had a, a lyricist uh, write new words um, that somehow incorporated the last line um, uh, with the word sleep. So this is the, uh, the revised edition of Sleep by Eric Whitaker with Lakeview High School's Chamber Choir.
7 p.m. at First Assembly of God for those of you who want to catch more of their beautiful music. So next up is uh, everybody's favorite part of the concert. Um, you guys uh, who are familiar with it will know that uh, we, we have a video camera here all day. The kids are, are taking turns singing for each other and warming up and then they get to take their break. And during that break, they get to uh, send their greetings and their, their well wishes to the kids in Columbia with this video. Um, so there were lots of fun things going on. I'm really curious to see what all made the cut, as I'm sure you are all as well. So please enjoy our video of the day. twice a week during their lunch time, and it's an auditioned group, so these kids are obviously very dedicated to what they're doing. Um, so please enjoy ACE. Uh, 
Uh, I'd like to read the transition to you. Transition. Translation to you really quick. Um, uh, this, the translation is tree of the lonely soul, wide opening of the riverside. Now you will be able to say, here slept, come to plow. With the whistle and the sting of the twisting wind, the dappled and violent dust quietly entered the canal. The night tired mare shakes her mane and black tail above the riverside, and in its silence, your ghostly heart is filled with awe. <laughs> excited with how the uh, with how the, the young women here have put this song together. She's uh, pretty proud of these kids. I think you will be too. Jasmine uh, told me that this is a song that you can really get into and express what you feel with it. Um, she said this is her first year in choir and that this piece was a really cool one as a great intro uh, to choir for her. Um, Penfield's got a couple of concerts coming up too. 
Um, their annual Follies, their talent show, is going to be on November 22nd at 7 p.m. That one uh, costs $5 to attend. And then they're going to have uh, their holiday concert on December 12th as well. Theirs will be at 8 o'clock. So after you come to Harbor Creek's uh, concert on the 12th at 7, then you can just go over to Penfield for their 8 o'clock concert. Who can't? Uh, who, who wouldn't want to have more uh, music during the during the holiday season? So, um, if you haven't checked out some of the jewelry uh, that we have for sale today, I suggest you do. It's, it's beautiful stuff for yourself, or if you're looking for holiday uh, holiday gifts already. Um, the uh, the woman who uh, helps design this, uh, Beth Smetters, is here tonight. She does a really great job. So stop by the tables out and out there in the lobby and see uh, see see what you might want to take home with you. So we've got uh, Penfield Combined Women's Choir singing Speechless. of the night is uh, after seeing all the groups do do their hard work 
Um, you see all the different colored shirts come together uh, for one big, big uh, song that they've all put their efforts into. So that's what we're going to hear next. Uh, uh, Joel Moore is the director of uh, choral activities at Olivet College, and he is with our guest clinician today. Uh, he has uh, uh, lots of opportunities for, uh, for anybody looking into uh, to, to studying choral music, um, whether as a music major or just as uh, a continued passion, uh, continued hobby into your, uh, into your studies at university. But he also has uh, the Vocal Arts Day uh, on April 21st. So that's where high schoolers from all over are allowed to come and, uh, and participate in, in choral activities at the college. So um, make sure that you check out the jewelry and the water for sale. Um, do all that you can to help out for this great cause that we've been supporting all day. Uh, here is Joel Moore and the Combined SSA Choirs.
uh, combined group, the combined SATV choirs. They'll be doing the song Oye by Jim Papoulis.